But it's so amazing to me how many Christians never appear to be joyful. They're just always grumpy. And they're just always angry, always yelling. Have you noticed we just tend to be cranky, cranky people? There's a German atheist philosopher uh, whose last name is Nietzsche. And he said this, if the Christians expect me to believe in their redeemer, they have to look a lot more redeemed. Man, Christianity is known more for what it's against than what it is for. It is easy to point out what's wrong. It's easy to be filled with fear and dread and only see the negative because that's all our world promotes. And there are times when we are sad. I mean, who in this room knows the difference between being sad or even being heartbroken and plain being miserable? Anybody ever be miserable besides me? I mean, you know, you can raise your hand exactly where you're at. Do you know what it means to be miserable? See, miserable is different than having moments of sadness. And we all know what it's like to be miserable. We've all had those moments when maybe our misery has slid into the danger zone where we actually start thinking, it doesn't even matter anymore, and we fall into despair. What has happened when we turn into despair is we have now turned on ourselves, and we are the ones making ourselves even more miserable. Have you ever been there? You ever had those moments? Sam reminded of what a little girl said upon seeing a mule for the first time. She said, I don't know what you are, but you must be a Christian because you look just like grandpa. Saying Christians are known for being mule-headed, grumpy people. But the, but the truth is Christians should be the ones throwing the party because we actually have something to be joyful about. I mean, joy should just be a natural part of who we are. Joy should be in our mindset. Joy should be in our outlook. Joy should be in our attitude. We should just like ooze joy. Now, we have talked in the past that there is a difference between joy and happiness, that happiness can be fleeting because happiness is temporary because it's just based upon the moment, and we are enjoying the moment, therefore we feel happy. And as the moment changes, then we may or may not feel happy anymore. And how joy is a much deeper, more long-range thing, that it's not an emotion. The happiness comes from without, but joy actually comes from within, that joy appreciates the past and the present and the future, not because the circumstances were always happy, but because... Well, the heart is right with God, and that's what fills us with joy. See, joy is this confident expectation of God, that good is coming, that God is good, that his plan is good, even when it doesn't feel so good. But it is overwhelming how many believers never take that joy and make happiness out of it. We never seem to gain happiness. Yes, we're supposed to have the joy of the Lord, but we never move on to happiness. These people weren't just joyful, they were happy. And Christianity has taken all of the happiness out of joy. We have made joy joyless, right? We, we are like Eeyore trying to explain joy. Oh, there's no happiness in joy. Uh, you know, and we're just so depressed. It's not attractive. It's not joy, uh, evangelistic for us to be joyless. It's also not biblical to be joyless. It's not biblical to be happyless. See, Christians are really uptight about happiness. Some people actually think it's a sin to be happy, that somehow spirituality and being miserable have been connected. They, have you ever been around those people, right? You never invite them to your parties because they'll just suck the life right out of it. You, you go to one of their churches and no one's smiling, don't even think about clapping, and an audible amen will get you escorted out of the building. <laughs> they go through church looking like they just drank this big giant glass of prune juice, right? Then there's some people who worry that they're not happy. Therefore, there must be something wrong, that somehow God is mad at me, that perhaps I have sin in my life, that something isn't working. And now their lack of happiness is somebody's fault. It's either my fault or it's God's fault or it's somebody else's fault. And and then there are those Christians that are just way too happy, right? You're afraid they're going to try to sell you some used car or something. They just kind of fake happiness all of the time. Just because it's happy doesn't mean that it's honest. We need to have some honest happiness, right? And this fake happiness comes because people are unwilling to kind of sit in their crap. They won't talk about the hard emotional stuff. 
They're in denial thinking, well, I just have to be happy all the time because God wants me to be happy. See, happiness is confusing. And it's really confusing for us Christians. We fall in one of those three categories. 